What's the difference between a 6XL and a 6 grain rocket motor? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. I got a call recently from a customer wanting to know what's the difference between a 6XL grain and a 6 grain rocket motor case. Cesaroni uses grains for nomenclature on how long the motor casings are. Aerotech uses total IS, uh, no, total impulse, uh, which is a little bit harder. Um, the Cesaroni system we like better for explaining because it's easy because it's one grain, two grain, three grains, four grains, five grains, six grains, or six XL. Now, both of these casings are six grains, but one of them is longer, and so they call it the 6XL casing, and that's what this one right here is. And you can see on the label, it says 6XL, and this one just says 6G, which means six grains, and the 6G XL means six grains extra long. Um, now, I don't know why they didn't make it a seven grain case, uh, but it's six grain. If you know, put it down in the comments. I'd like to hear the explanation for that. Here is a six grain propellant stick. Here's the 6XL, and you can see the 6XL is longer, of course. Now, Cesaroni allows you to use spacers to make up the difference in length, so you can use, like this one right here, let me get all these out of the way, you can use a six grain case or six grain propellant stick in a six XL casing if you use two spacers and one of the spacers has to be the standard spacer and one has to be the XL spacer and these two together make up the difference and so if you put this to the to the right length you can see right here the Propellant plus one spacer, the normal spacer plus the XL spacer will fill up the entire casing. And it's and it goes down from there. Like you could take a six grain casing, take one spacer and a five grain propellant stick, and that fills up that casing like that. You don't use the XL spacer. The only time you'd use the XL spacer is with the XL casing. So kind of let me show you what the difference here is. So I opened up two propellant sticks. This is the ones that I got out of the six grain casing, a six grain propellant stick. And this one is I got out of the six XL propellant sticks. And you can see that the grain size is different. These are called grains. These slugs of propellant, they're called grains, if you don't know. Um, so you can see the, this is the 6, and this is the 6XL. It's different. And the difference is going to be um, that spacer. Um, so when you put them together, let me put one together. Here's my six grain, and these go together in a special order. The one grain with the slug inside of it, compared to a normal one, is the one that has to go on the top. So that goes on top, and then all the other ones can go right inside. that and then you put the nozzle on. This is the nozzle. This little yellow cap just holds the igniter in but this is the nozzle. And you push it on until the o-ring is inside and then that would go into your casing. What's wrong with into your casing like that. But I can use this one in the 6XL if I put in this spacer first plus the XL spacer. And then I can slide it in and it will be nice and tight. No rattling around in there. So this is nice and tight. And even though the, the grains start about down here, 
um, this will work just fine. So these are the six XL grains, and they also go into their case just the same way. And I got this one here goes in first, and that goes at the very top. This is the top. This is the delay grain in the ejection charge underneath. So that one goes in, and then it says, this one, the grains are a little different. This end is cupped a little bit, and the other end is flat. Since this one is flat on the bottom, all the other ones will go in with the flat side facing down. So I hope that explains the difference between a 6 and a 6XL grain. Only the XL grains are longer, so the, the ones that are in the 5 grain tube are also the same length as the ones that are in the 6 grain. But you won't change those around. Um, you just buy it, fly it, and don't mix them up. So I hope this is, uh, that you got something out of this. If you did, leave a comment down below. My name again is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Aperture Rocketry Workshop. Off to the side here, as usual, we have other videos that I think you're going to enjoy. Um, and may the winds be light, and may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true. Thank you.